Every year, hundreds of thousands of people walk, run, and shop for a cure. Millions of dollars are raised in the name of breast cancer, but where does all the money go and what is actually achieved? Inspired by Dr. Samantha King's book, Pink Ribbons, Inc., Breast Cancer and the Politics of Philanthropy, the documentary shows footage from some of the biggest fundraising walks and runs in North America with uncompromising interviews. Many people say, well, anger, not helpful. Actually, anger is helpful depending on what you do with it. And I think if people actually knew what was happening, they would be really pissed off. They should be. You're watching the Canadian Film Review on Press Plus One. We're at the Landmark Cinema Globe Theatre in Calgary. My name's Kinda Mardambe, and I'm here with my co-host today, Trevor Alberts. So, a uh, documentary about how terrible it is to raise money for breast cancer. <laughs> Very brave material. Yes. I've realized over the years that a lot of corporations have gotten on the bandwagon of raising money for breast cancer. Um, but you know, because corporations always do the right thing, I thought that they were doing the right thing. <laughs> but of course they're not. It's, you know, in a lot of instances, it, they're co-opting uh, breast cancer as a brand to market their products. Yeah, there was a great moment in the film where one of the uh, family members who just finished a run had turned around and said, you know, I'm very uh, pleased that I can be a part of something, I can contribute in some way because I feel so helpless for, you know, the, fam the family member who is going through this and I can't do anything. Yeah, I mean, what we're talking about here are people dealing with loved ones or themselves with, with cancer or sometimes terminal cancer and our emotions are then being manipulated so we can buy a bucket of chicken. Yeah, and the director had some great interviews on um, and she spoke about this uh, tyranny of cheerfulness that goes along with these campaigns. And you know, when you are maybe at a, you know, a more extreme stage of breast cancer, this is perhaps not the, you know, the perspective you want is this tyranny of cheerfulness. Right, and, and I think that this is kind of where the film, you know, has its challenging moments for viewers because they kind of went to the opposite end of cheerfulness. I think it was mentioned at one point in the film that um, this was a, a, an enormous powerful community that had some great resources and maybe it was where the focus was going, was being misdirected. Absolutely. There's that whole added layer of, okay, now that the money has been raised, where is it going? And what interests are there of drug companies to actually find a cure yeah. if these same companies are producing chemicals that actually give you cancer. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a three stars. Um, I did feel it had an enormous amount to say and was very engaging and it is done by the National Film Board of Canada and they are, you know, uh, known for being progressive and I did feel that that was, that, that was definitely worth the viewing. I agree, gave it a three as well. And I think that it raises so many valuable points that society needs to address a little more carefully. Um, at the same time, I think it just could have included a little more from the rest of, of the, the breast cancer survivor community. You can read Trevor and my reviews of the film on the Canadian film section of Press Plus One. And we wanna hear from you. What was the last great Canadian film you watched?